if you ever want to get those students, that bottom group students, right? If you ever want to get these kids looking up at that oyster, at those pearls, as a teacher, you've got to be special. And let me tell you why. That child is accustomed to looking forward and down like his parents. He's not accustomed to looking up there. So as a teacher, you have to get him to look up toward that oyster. But the only way that can happen is first, you have to get him to look up to you. Now, this is where it gets really tricky. When he looks up to you, he's going to look you in your eyes. When he looks you in your eyes, teacher, he's going to immediately <coughs> read your heart. Understand that the eyes are the window to the soul. And if when he looks in your eyes, he doesn't like what he sees. If when he looks into your eyes, he doesn't like the way it makes him feel. If when he looks into your eyes, he doesn't like you, you're going to have a difficult nine months. Yeah. He may not be able to read that book, but he can read your heart. And look forward to nine months of power struggles, how they work. How do you work? In 1929, the Great Depression hit the United States. Jay Kwan, can you please stop hitting the desk while I'm teaching? In 1929, the Great Depression, Jay Kwan, can you please stop hitting the desk while I'm teaching? If you do it again, I'm going to send you to the principal's office. Jay Kwan then said, oh, something about that set white folk off. I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That, that, that. So now she's hot now, right? Hey, in 1929, son, get out of here right now. Go to the principal's office. Don't come back. By this time, her hair is frizzled. Her eyeglasses are sideways. She's red as a bee. This is true stuff. I'm just happy, right? So this kid is going to leave that office, leave that classroom. He's going into the office. While he's walking, though, this is what he's going to say to himself. Nobody knows this. Only me. <laughs> He's gonna say, I won. Right. Yeah. Yes, yes. Look, 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 this is this is where it gets really happy. Let me tell you why he's saying that. Because he's from a powerless community. And he feels powerless. So if the only power he can get is from making you lose your control, then he's won. And that is the problem of education today. The big pink elephant in the room is being ignored as if. It is not there, uh, but it's very much there. Uh, and as I close, I want to say that kids don't care about color. Mm -hmm. No, nope. my experiences have taught me that kids don't care about color. They care about heart. I've seen some white teachers, uh, kids will just jump off the bus and run to them and jump up in their arms like they're their mothers. I've seen this. I've seen black teachers with black children, and I say, you, I would not want you teaching my child. Right. See, kids don't care about no color. They care about your heart. You got the capacity to love. You got patience. Uh, kids are going to love you.